Hey YouTube, welcome to Real Men Get It Done, a channel about turning my hobbies and interests into motivation for the community. So in today's video, I am actually uh, doing my son's hair. Uh, he wants dreads, so my wife started his uh, twist uh, so that they will start locking up. So I am going to actually be retwisting and interlocking them today. It'll be the actual first time he's having it done. And then we're gonna give him a fresh haircut so he's ready uh, for school for this upcoming um, week. This is Kaden, his hair. So he has a ton of new growth that we can retwist and make all nice and fresh and neat and give him a fresh cut. So it's kind of before and after. So make sure to stay tuned to the very end to see the complete process, uh, the finished product, I should say, the finished process of him having his hair uh, freshly cut. And I'm an at-home barber, so I do the best that I can. Uh, we're gonna have a fresh cut, we're gonna have it retwisted and show you uh, just our whole process through the end. And we're gonna time lapse it, of course, just so uh, it just makes a, a, a nice and clean video. So stay tuned uh, for all what's coming up next. Real Men and Get It Done. Like, subscribe, share, uh, and help promote and grow our channel. Okay, first and foremost, let's talk about the products that we're gonna use today for Caden's hair. And then I'll actually explain the process before we move forward with actually doing it and showing you guys the finished product. So stay tuned for that. So first and foremost, we want to shampoo and condition the hair. So this is a great two-in-one method that has the both shampoo and conditioner. It's a generic form of head and shoulders. We always wanna have a clean head that we're working with. Next, we're gonna move forward with some of the products that we're gonna use along with the crochet needle. That's a hair crochet needle. So immediately when we get done, after we get done washing the hair and we're gonna give Katie a fresh uh, haircut, we're going to use a combination of these two materials to condition the hair and have it uh, nice and ready to be twisted. During the process of it getting twisted and his hair will begin to dry out, we'll use this um, leave-in conditioner spray that has oil in it throughout that process into the very end. And the crochet needle is actually used. What happens with this needle is uh, the hair is grabbed and pulled through and it creates an interlocking method to tighten up his hair so that we actually can see his parts and that it has a, a, a just a nice fresh um, retwist for his hair. So speaking just a little bit about the actual process. So he's gonna have his hair washed as I mentioned before. That's important uh, because as I have my home barber shop set up here, we're gonna cut his hair. And you don't want any chemicals or products to be in the hair because it just, um, it, it's greasy, it doesn't allow for a fresh cut and the clippers can get clogged up. So we're gonna wash his hair, then move forward with a fresh cut so that at that time, since he'll have a dry head, it'll be fresh, then we can move forward with our um, actual product in his hair and then move forward with the actual interlocking of his hair.
Okay, so Kaden has a fresh cut and we're getting ready to actually do his hair. I want to show the interlocking method. Um, so don't make fun of our setup uh, when you see me actually doing this hair, but just want to show an example of the interlocking method, uh, which I learned from my wife and online. Okay, so here is the uh, interlocking uh, needle. And what we're going to do is, when I talked about it passing through the hair, got this hair kind of sectioned off when they're doing like one, two, three, four sections. But all of this right here is new growth. All this extra hair. So we want this to end up, when we're all said and done, be nice and tight so it keeps growing on the braid. So what the needle ends up doing is, we're gonna pass the needle through and grab some of his hair. It actually will latch onto his hair and pull it through. It's hard doing this standing up. But anyway, let's see. I'm gonna go through, grab some of the hair and then pull it through. So if you see that, it made a nice over under. And I'll go in different patterns to make sure it tightens up when it's all said and done. It should be a nice tight coil, kind of like that to his head. And once you start doing that to all of them, it'll make it look, of course, nice and neat and you'll be actually able to see his scalp. So that's the process we're going to use with the interlocking method to go through, bring the hair through, and continually tighten it. And that should be it.
Okay, we are finally done. And this took definitely a lot longer, a little bit longer than what I anticipated. Um, his hair is beginning to coil, uh, but it's still um, a little difficult because it's still in the process of locking and getting tight. But we were able to wash, give him a fresh haircut, and also um, retwist and interlock it. As you can see, his, his, his scalp is actually showing. It's looking a lot better than what it did. Uh, they all have been cleaned up and conditioned and they all are laying down flat. So as his locks continue to tighten and actually form a full lock, it'll be a lot easier for me to do it. But I thought it was pretty good for my first go round for my son. So his hair is all cut, all fresh. Cut butt. And then his dreads are underneath. Last step would be just put do rag on so you can go to bed for tonight. But it looks pretty good. So we'll do a full turn. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it. Real men get it done. How was it, Kaden? Good. You tired? Mm -hmm. All right. Tell everybody hi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, till next time, Real Men Get It Done. Like, subscribe, share, and um, help us grow our channel. Till next time. <laughs>